So pretty obvious that the winners in mobile are both Android and Apple, but who are the losers? Likely everybody else. Since 2010, the share of other phone makers has dropped to just 4%. And despite only having 15% global share, almost 90% of all smartphone profits accrue to Apple. And true to our prediction, Apple is now truly a luxury brand, as evidenced by the 12-page spread in this month's Vogue. It looks as if the devil not only wears Prada, but will soon be wearing an Apple watch. Is YouTube a winner or a loser? The jury is still out. On a typical day, the site attracts over a billion users from around the world, and almost eight in 10 US consumers watch a YouTube video each month. YouTube has estimated revenue of $4 billion, which is only 6% of Google's 2014 revenue of 66 billion. The big story going into 2015 was how YouTube was gonna disrupt television. Likely the bigger story in 2015 is how Facebook may disrupt YouTube, as more videos are uploaded natively to the Facebook platform than links to other YouTube videos. So a big winner this week, Chinese military arsenal that now includes every computer on the mainland. When a Chinese user attempts to visit a banned site, including Facebook, Google, or Twitter, the Ministry of State Security, also known as the Great Firewall, reroutes the request to a different website. Lately, it's been sending them to seemingly random sites, which are quickly debilitated by the massive inflow of data. Or in sum, the Chinese government has weaponized the entire computer population of China. So what nation works hardest? Most people would probably guess Americans, and they would be wrong. According to the OECD, only 11% of US workers put in a work week in excess of 50 hours. Well behind Turkey, where four in 10 of the workforce is on the job for more than 50 hours a week. The US also trails Mexico, South Korea, and Australia. So something we missed last week, the passing of Leonard Nimoy, who spawned more action figures and reruns than almost any actor in history. Like many people who are inextricably linked to their character, no matter how much beloved, he wanted to be known for other things. Mr. Nimoy was a photographer, published several books on poetry, and went behind the camera to direct the most commercially successful film of that year, Three Men and a Baby. We'll see you next week.